managing an AI product requires a fundamental mindset change. And what that is, is that you look at the problem statement, you look at the business problem that you are attacking, that you want to build a product around, but you look at it through a different lens. You want to turn it into a machine learning problem. I want to take a look at what it means uh, to be a product manager in a company at this stage is a startup coming up with an innovative technology. So it's one of those companies that are led by technology, solving a very strong technology problem. You are at the phase where now you have a customer base and so on, but it's still uh, relatively in the initial phase. So what it means to be a product manager in a company at this stage versus being a product manager in a mature, you know, more corporate setting. Yeah, in a small startup, growing startup, basically being a product manager means far beyond what a traditional product manager's responsibilities would be. You basically just have to wear many hats, right? You have to not only define the product vision, define the requirements, interview your potential customer base, uh, you also have to do a little bit of selling, right? You need to go out and market your product. You want to test your messaging. You want to talk to your potential customers. You do a little bit of a pre-sale support. You do um, customer support, answer support tickets. You engage with your potential customers and users, whether they are paid users or free users. You engage with them to provide support, help them, but also learn additional asks. You know, what are what things are not working? What are some features that you want to add? So you do all of that. You just have to be able to, to be very flexible and uh, do things way beyond the scope of what you are, you know, the defined product manager uh, role. That's a kind of a one aspect. I think another interesting aspect is that this is, uh, a, I would call it a fairly advanced artificial intelligence startup. So it, it's a company that is bringing to light um, really an advanced uh, technology. What it means, in your opinion, to be a product manager in artificial intelligence with an artificial intelligence product, do you, do you identify differences between, let's say, a product like this and, and in particular artificial intelligence and, and, and other software products that are more, you know, um, just basic software based or, or even, you know, hardware products? Where, is there a difference that you, that you could talk about between an AI product manager and, and another type of product manager in the software industry? Absolutely. Um, I can share from my own experience. I've been in the industry for 20 plus years um, doing development and product management. So when I got this job and really dived deep into AI, I quickly realized that managing an AI product requires a fundamental mindset change. And what that is, is that you look at the problem statement, you look at the business problem that you are attacking, that you want to build a product around, but you look at it through a different lens. You want to turn it into a machine learning problem. So what does that mean? It means that, think about what sort of data do I need to gather so that our platform team, our AI team can turn it into, train a machine learning model that ultimately can converge into a solution that feeds into a self-improving AI system. So ultimately, the end product becomes something that is far beyond what a human or programmer can prescriptively program into the code. So that's really mind blowing. And that's something that I just came to realization after I joined Otter.ai that it we really requires that mindset. So you still do the normal uh, gathering of requirements, but when it comes to a time to really look at that problem and turn it into a problem statement, uh, that's a difference. So I think I, uh, that, that's a realization I had. That's important because there is a mindset component here. So if you had somebody who really, you know, AI is pretty odd field today, they want to get into AI. I think if you had to give a couple of uh, suggestions or, or, or your best advice, um, I'm thinking of where, where do you think they should start uh, company-wise, a startup or, or, or an established company or an else mindset? How do they get the right mindset? Well, I think you really just need to dive deep into whether it is a startup or a uh, company that has a division that is focused on um, applying AI technology. 
to create products and solutions. And so, you know, that's if you're really an aspiring AI product manager and really want to get into AI field, um, that would be what I recommend. Um, also, I would recommend that you continue to look and learn from successful patterns of business or of product UI in various industries and try to look for patterns that and in creative ways that you can apply that pattern into the industry that you're in or you want to get into. Um, so looking at those analogies and creative ways to apply successful patterns across industry usually would um, lead to very uh, interesting insights and potentially an opportunity to grow your business. 